Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. Those links are below. Um, if you would like to open your own tarot channel or learn how to read tarot, you can check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. Just post a positive affirmation or something that you are grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart to enter to win a reading with me. What am I grateful for, my loves? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, your love, support, beautiful comments, my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my loves, so let's get popping. We're gonna go ahead and pull a butterfly blessing. This is one of my decks. If you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the links are below. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What blessings are coming towards Cancer? Okay, so it says here, a blessing will come on Wednesday. Your giving heart is a blessing, not a curse, for Dharma will reimburse. Tithing, compassion, and selfless. Okay, so Cancer, there is... Today is Thursday, so maybe next Wednesday. On a Wednesday, you're going to receive some type of good karma that's coming back to you for something that you did for someone in the past. Um, some of you could be so selfless or so giving that sometimes you get upset with yourself thinking that your good heart is a curse, but it's not. It's a blessing because... Um, Good karma is going to come back to you. Nothing is a waste, okay? All right, let's see what we have here for my cancers, please. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about cancer, please. Okay, so we've got child, we've got lovers, and we've got occupation. So Cancer, what I'm seeing right now is that your person is entertaining a third party that is younger than you, possibly. For some of you, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I know you don't want to hear it, but I gotta read what I see. For some of you, if you go to work and leave your person uh, home alone with your children, please be careful please be careful with doing that, okay? Because I'm seeing here someone put a child on their lap and possibly touch them inappropriately while someone is at work, okay? Someone's birthday could be July 15th or July 18th, June 7th, September 15th, September 7th, July 9th, July 6th. June 9th, okay? So yeah, just just be careful with that. But what I'm seeing here, there could be someone uh, either at the gym or maybe a coworker, someone here that is younger. It is possible that maybe someone here has gotten a third party pregnant. We've got distant horizons and we've got despair. And we've got judication. Cancer, I think that, um, okay, so this could be karma for someone that hurts you, or this could be happening with someone that you are currently with. There is someone here that quite possibly slept with or started talking to an underage person, which is very common right now on these dating sites and everything. You get girls that are 16, 17 years old and, you know, with the makeup and, you know, dressing up and everything, they look like they're 20, you know, I'm kind of getting a vibe like that. Or there could actually be someone here that was looking at child porn. This is very much about dealing with someone that is quite possibly underage or someone here had a one night stand or they have a third party and they're getting someone pregnant. 
they are not going to get away with this. This is not something that they are going to sweep under the rug. This is something that this person is going to end up in front of a judge for, okay? Whether it's for child support or it's because they... You know what I'm saying? They uh, slept with someone underage, whether it was a teenager that was 16, 17 years old or somebody much younger, okay? So so this person is definitely ending up in front of a judge. Um, May 30th, September 30th, March 9th, March 5th, could be significant, but there is definitely someone here that is ending up in a very bad situation here. No matter which way you want to twist it and turn it, this individual is ending up in front of a judge, okay? Someone here could have been on a dating site, flirting and talking with an individual and they, you know, on an adult website, match.com or something like that. And, um, they could have been speaking to somebody that was 15 years old. They could have been speaking to someone between the ages of 15 and 18. And they could be ending up in front of a judge. This is somebody that may have gotten a third party pregnant. Someone here is scared about the future. They're scared about what the future is going to hold. Someone here is scared that they're going to end up in front of a judge. With despair here and distant horizons, someone is scared on what the future holds. And if we want to make things really bad, someone here may have entertained someone that was underage that was lying about their age and got a 16, 17 year old pregnant. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. This is really bad. Oh boy. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got thoughts, we've got gift, we've got pathway, and we've got main mail with message of concern and imprisonment. Cancer, let me tell you something. Your person did something that they should not have done, okay? Let's go over it one more time. You're either leaving for work and leaving a small child home with your person, and they did something they shouldn't have done to this small child. Your person could be an ex and they're paying some form of karma where they entertain somebody that claimed that they were 19, 20 years old and they were actually a teen. Um, your person may have gotten this individual pregnant. Your person could be with you and they slept with a third party and got a third party pregnant. Your person, the, the way you'll know what's going on here is your person is going to be very nice to you. Pathway and gift here. Your person has a guilty conscience, okay? And I think that your person is going to, uh, one way you'll know is that your person is going to be very nice to you. Um, cancer, if you have small children at home, one red flag is that your person goes out and buys a very expensive gift for your child, kind of like bribing the child to stay quiet, okay? If someone here finds out that, you know, a third party got pregnant, they're telling this third party, listen, I'll give you money. I'll do whatever. Just don't tell cancer. Don't tell my wife or my husband. Okay. This could be a bribe. Like if, if your person cheated, this third party may say, listen, I'm pregnant. Um, you know, you got to pay me or I'm going to tell your husband, wife or something along those lines. Okay. Okay. Your, your person did something and they're scared of the consequences of their actions. They're petrified. This person might be with you, Cancer, or this could be an ex that got themselves into some trouble because we've got main, main male here, concern and imprisonment. Someone here is scared to go to prison. They're scared of legal charges, okay? They're scared of legal charges. January 14th, January 29th, November 14th, November 1st, November 17th, November 16th. 
We've got 15, 16, and 17 here. Someone here could have slept with someone between the ages of 16 and 17. They may have gotten someone pregnant. Someone here could have a one-year-old child at home that they are leaving home alone. The child could be anywhere from one to nine years old. There is an individual here that is scared of a prison sentence, okay? Either they're scared of a prison sen sentence or this person is scared that they are the father, okay? This is definitely a man. We've got a man sitting in despair. We've got on the thoughts card, a man thinking of a, a girl or a woman. And we've got main male here that's getting a message of concern. Cancer, if you're with this person, you may be getting a phone call from this person that they were already arrested. There could be something happening here where your child tells a teacher or something what happened at home and your person calls you from prison that they were arrested because your child told somebody what happened. Um, this person, if it was a 15, 16 or 17 year old that lied to your person and said that they were 19, 18, 19, 20 years old, they may be getting pregnant, told their parents and their parents have gotten your person arrested. There's a few different ways that this can go. The one thing that remains steadfast and, and beyond a shadow of a doubt is that your person is about to end up in front of a judge. And your person is either fearing imprisonment or they are fearing being imprisoned to someone that has their child, like being locked into someone that has their child. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, that is, that is crazy. Um, Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. All right, I'm done. For those of you who know what this is, what is this? This is the clock tower. This is imprisonment. We've got two cards here of imprisonment, being locked into something or locked away somewhere. Yeah, there's a problem here. There is definitely a problem here. We've got the cross and we've got the child. And the lady, it okay, so this is a trust issue. Your person trusted that a female was grown, instead they were a child, or cancer, you trusted this person in your house with your child, okay? Very specific, you could be a white female and your child could be mixed, your child could be darker than you. Either you're trusting someone in the house with your child or your person trusted that someone here was of age. Oh, my Lanta. We've got the ship <clears throat> and we've got the sickle. <laughs> Your person is hoping that they can fight this. They are hoping that they can get this thrown out of court. But with the tree, journal, and the sun, there is evidence against this person. There is immovable. The tree is something that is rooted, okay? The journal is secrets, and the sun is exposure, okay? For instance, let me give you guys an example. If this is a small child that's coming forward to reveal a truth, there are things that this child is going to say that can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that this child did things or saw things 
that they would not know otherwise, okay? Number one. Number two, if it is a situation where it is, you know, a young female between the ages of 15 and 17, um, this person has some type of proof. They've got text messages. They've got a video of them having sex. They've got... Um, you know what I'm saying? They've, they've got things, they've got, they've got, uh, DNA testing if it's someone's child. Okay. Uh, you know, if this is a third party that's getting pregnant, it's stuff that you cannot deny evidence that you cannot deny cancer. Okay. So again, this could be someone that you are currently with. Okay. It could be someone that you are currently with or cancer. This could be an ex that's reaping some really serious karma. Okay. Your ex could have went towards a single parent and this single parent is accusing your person of touching their small child. Your ex could have went towards a third party that was younger than they claim to be and now they're facing charges. Your ex may have went towards somebody and gotten them pregnant and this is an individual that is way too young to be with them or they never wanted kids or they don't want to be tied to this individual because it was just sex, not love. Whoever this person is, they're going through a hard time. Someone here is fearing prison or they're fearing being tied to somebody that is uh, claiming to be pregnant with their child. Spirit, what do we have here for cancer? Spirit, what do we have here for cancer, please? What do we have here for cancer, please? We've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. We've got the nine of cups. We've got the four of pentacles and the two of swords. So what we have here is someone that was peacefully sitting in an energy of I got what I wanted and it will never come out. This is someone that thought that they would get away with it. And now they're, they may be realizing that they may actually have to pay the consequences to their actions. They were under the impression that someone here would never speak up. Someone would never talk to a swords, four of pentacles, keeping it to, you know, yourself. This person, you know, after a period of time, maybe they thought that they, they thought they got away with something. We've got the eight of swords here with the four of swords and the death card this person is not getting away with shit eight of swords and the four of swords someone is sitting in a jail cell here there is someone sitting in a jail cell here or cancer this is someone that is laying around thinking about you know oh my god is is this person really pregnant and am i going to be tied to this individual for the rest of my life the death card what we have here is somebody's life that is really being catapulted upside down Okay, Scorpio energy, Sag energy. Tell me about cancer, please. Somebody's birthday could be October 9th or March 19th, March 10th. The Hermit here, Virgo energy. And the Seven of Cups. What we have here is someone that's thinking to themselves, how the fuck did I get into this position? What the hell was I thinking? Ten of Wands. This is someone that's going through a very difficult time right now. Everything is stacked against this person. They want to try to fight to defend themselves, but they can't. They can't. Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. This person could be begging and pleading in front of a judge that they will do some type of program or get help or work on themselves. Um, this is someone that, that is begging or pleading a judge or a lawyer, somebody that they hired to please fix this. This is someone that cannot believe their life is in this situation. This is someone that cannot believe. They, they thought that they were going to get off scot-free. They thought that they were going to get away with this Virgo energy. Did I say Virgo energy? They thought they were going to get away with this. And, and now their life is in shambles. Now their life is in shambles. We've got the queen of pentacles with the five of wands and the emperor. <clears throat> this could be a set of parents beating the shit out of somebody. Okay. This could be a set of parents beating the shit out of somebody. 
Tell me about temperance here. We've got the Sun card, Leo energy, with the Nine of Cups and the Star card, Aquarius energy. Page of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. The Star card and the Sun card are very public cards. They are also major arcana, which is a representation of massive life change, okay? Page of Cups could be a child coming forward. Four of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. This could be a child or a teenager coming forward to express something that they've been holding in. And this is going to go public. This could end up on the news, okay? Everybody knows about this. Neighbors, friends, schools, Two of Swords and the Six of Cups. You shouldn't have touched that. That's a child. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Yeah, lover's card. Gemini energy. Someone here was tempted with the seven of swords and the lover's card. Someone here was tempted by something they should not have been tempted by. And this is why you got to be careful for men out there that are in their, you know, 40s, 50s, late 30s, and they like to mess with these girls that are 19, 20 years old. You got to be careful. You have to be careful. Okay. Someone here may have actually touched a very, very small child. I, you know, I just got to keep it real with you. Or someone here is being accused of it. Okay. For some of you, for some of you, just a few of you, your person may have not even done this. Your person may have left you to go towards a single mom and this single mom maybe caught your person cheating, right? And then they decided to put false allegations on your person saying that your person touched their child out of revenge or spite. That's going to be just a few of you, okay? <clears throat> your person may have went towards a single mom, somebody with a small child, and they got caught cheating on this individual and out of revenge and spite, this single mother pressed charges on your ex stating that your ex touched their child inappropriately. That's just for a few of you. But the Eight of Swords, the Lover's Card, and the Seven of Swords... This is, you know, two of swords and the six of cups is you shouldn't have touched that. That is too young. And you know what's funny, Cancer? A lot of times in the six of cups, you'll see an adult and a child. There is two children on this card and that is it. There are no adults in this card. Okay. No adults. Someone here could have an orange cat or they may love daisies and keep daisies in their home or someone's child's name is Daisy. Someone here could have two children, a boy and a girl. There's no adults in this Six of Cups card. With that Two of Swords, you shouldn't have touched that. You should not have touched that. That was too young for you. And with the Seven of Swords and the Lover's card, someone here may have given into, into some type of temptation and, and they took it. They took a bite of that Forbidden Apple. Four of Swords here with the Page of Swords. and the two of pentacles. So this is the way these things work in criminal court, okay? You just have to prove beyond reasonable doubt, okay? And I think that what your person's trying to do is not necessarily prove that they didn't do it, but prove that there's a possibility that they didn't do it. Page of Swords and the two of pentacles did they or didn't they? You know, that they, they, they're, your person is sitting in deep thought here on how to not just, not just prove that they didn't do it, but how can I prove beyond reasonable doubt that, you know, I did, you see what I'm saying? Oh, my Lanta, the high priestess and the nine of swords. Let me tell you something. Your person is fucking panicking. Aquarius energy. Your person might be coming off as cool, calm, and collected on the outside, but on the inside, this person is scared as shit, okay? They are scared to death. They are scared to death. And you know what this person is thinking about? Cancer, I feel like this might be an ex of yours, to be honest with you. I feel like if this is an ex of yours, what this person is thinking about is 
How did I get here? Two of cups and the four of wands. I was with cancer. I had a beautiful love relationship. I had a home. I had a marriage. I had a family. The judgment card and the king of swords. Why didn't I make better decisions? Why didn't I choose to reconcile with cancer or come together with cancer or get married to cancer? Why do I have to be such a fucking shit face five of swords energy? Okay. Why? Why, you know, if this is an ex that chose, you know, a younger single mother over you, there could be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, false allegations put on your person and your person is having regrets or cancer. If, you know, your person left you because they wanted something younger, right? Uh, and then they went to go pursue something between the ages of 20 and 25 and they got caught up with a 15, 16, 17 year old, you know? Why didn't, you know, your person, if this is an ex, your person could be under this thing of why, why the hell didn't I just sit my ass at home? If your person cheated on you and got someone pregnant and now they're, they may be, you know, stuck with having a child with this third party, they're asking themselves, you know, I had it so good at home with cancer. Why did I do this? Why did I destroy my life, my relationship, my marriage, my family? You know what I'm saying? And don't forget, I mean, this doesn't have to be, it could just be that your person cheated and got a third party pregnant and they're trying to figure out how to get out of being responsible for this child, you know? Tell me about the five of cups here for cancer. We've got the devil. I'm telling you, your person is really regretting giving into this temptation. Okay. The lover's card is Adam, Eve, and the snake. Are you going to choose that beautiful soul tie you were gifted with? Or are you going to choose the snake? Your person chose the snake and now the devil is in control of their life. Now the devil is in control of their life. Cancer with the eight of pentacles, the wheel of fortune and the nine of pentacles. I think that you have separated yourself from this situation and you're being blessed abundantly and you are looking back at an ex that is going through this. That's what I think because you're sitting here single Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Pentacles. If you are pressing charges on this person, everything is going to go in your favor. If this is an ex of yours, you're just kind of sitting back, minding your business, watching this shit go down on the news or listening to gossip. You are going to be sitting back watching this person's life fall apart. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You're being blessed with money, blessings, miracles falling down on your head, and you're watching Watching with the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups, this person's entire life fall to shit. Ten of Wands and the Empress. The Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Cancer, I feel like this is somebody that you were committed to and they were a hoe. Okay, I feel like this could be someone that cheated on you multiple times, okay, multiple times, and this has come back to bite them in the ass. Either they cheated on you and they got someone pregnant and now you're filing for a divorce and you're getting a shit ton of money and child support in this divorce. Because if you can prove that you were cheated on, at least most states, as far as I know, if you have physical proof that you were cheated on, you can get whatever you want in the divorce. And going to a judge and saying, well, he got someone pregnant, you know what I'm saying? He had to have, he had to have cheated to do that, you know? So, Cancer, this could be that your person cheated on you and, and this person cheated multiple times, okay? There could be an age difference between you and this person because you're showing up as Empress, they're showing up as Knight of Wands, okay? This is you sitting home, taking care of the kids, taking care of the house, being the breadwinner. This is you carrying an entire relationship on your shoulders while this person is fucking everything under the sun. Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups, okay? So this person may have messed up, gotten someone pregnant, and now you're getting everything in the divorce procedure proceedings. Okay. This could be somebody that messed up and 
slept with somebody that was too young, okay? Too young, and you are just wiping your hands of it like this and saying these are your fucking problems because you know what? I gave you a beautiful life. All you had to do was sit down, be loyal, and fucking smile. That was it. You know what I'm saying? That was all that was required of you, and that was too much for you. So now you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, all you had to do was at least be a king of pentacles. You know, just sit there and smile and help me a little bit. Mow the fucking lawn. Do something positive or productive. But no, with the five of swords, the knight of wands, the seven of cups, it's your way or no way. It's, it, you know, it's got to be uh, cheating, chaos, uh, drama, sabotaging, uh, all this other shit. And well, that's what you get. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, you, you, eventually your actions are going to come back to bite you in the ass in some way shape or form that's just the way it's going to work you know and now you got this person sitting in a jail cell or sitting home alone saying to themselves why didn't i just shut up and commit to cancer and mind my business because now this person could be facing legal charges jail time and not only that but going to prison with the label as a chomo and if you know you know right you know what i'm saying or you know cancer this could be someone that now is tied to someone for the next 18 years you know having to pay child support and maybe even having to pay child support for your kids okay so yeah there's that all right, so let's go ahead and do an all signs quickie. That was kind of crazy. That was very specific. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, Aries, to Pisces, please. Cancer and all 12 signs, Aries, to Pisces, please. All right, let's see what we have here. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Nine of Cups, we've got the Six of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Cancer, if you are dealing with an Aries, this could be someone that's telling you that asking you out on a date and they're catfishing you or they're going to stand you up. This is someone that could be telling you that they're going to come travel towards you or move in with you or move forward with you, but they're lying. My recommendation, Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries and this person lives far away and they want you to travel towards them, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Just FYI, don't do that. Um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Death card, and the King of Wands. So Cancer, there is a Taurus here that wants you to eat your heart out, okay? There is a Taurus here that has ended things with you, and you're not paying attention to this person anymore, but they are paying attention to you because they want to see if you have regrets. Six of Wands and the King of Wands, this person wants your attention. They want, they, they want you to feel feed their ego in saying that there's regrets about ending something but I don't really see you being too concerned tell me about Gemini Cancer and Gemini the Queen of Pentacles the Empress the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords Cancer this Gemini is deciding to end things with you but I don't think that they realize what they are going to lose in this ending okay um it could be financial support it could be that you have a lot of blessings cancer and the people close to you get blessed and once you remove your energy this person's going to go through a lot of trials or lose a lot of things this person may suffer ill health um i don't think that this person is truly comprehending what they're losing when they lose you okay if we're dealing with another cancer, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Lover's Card, and the Devil. So Cancer, there is a group of three here, okay? I feel like someone is going to come in, they're going to apologize, and it's almost like 
yeah, that's the bad person. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this could be a friend group of three people that got into a fight, two people reconcile, and these two people that are reconciling or say, are saying, yep, that's the bad person. That's the bad guy. Cancer, if you, you're dealing with another cancer and someone cheated, you and your person will reconcile and that third party is the bad guy. We're gonna cut that bad guy out, okay? You feel me? If we're dealing with a Leo, Five of Swords, the Tower, the Nine of Swords, and the Hierophant. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, I'm seeing a pretty big fight breaking out. There could be, you know, you guys might be separated for one night where there's crying and anxiety. But with the Hierophant, I don't see it ending, okay? If we're dealing with a Virgo, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the High Priestess. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo was entertaining someone else and they find it insane that you knew. <laughs> they, Ace of Swords and the High Priestess, they find it insane that you knew. You, you may have known for a while that this Virgo was entertaining someone else and you just came out and said it and they're looking at you like, how the f they may not admit it to you, but they, they're a little bugged out over the fact that you knew that they were entertaining someone else, okay? If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the King of Pentacles, we've got the Star card, we've got the Hermit card, and we've got the Three of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, this is someone that really wants long-term commitment with you, but the Libra is either trying to figure out how to heal your broken heart or cancer, if you've got previous baggage of, of having your heart broken, this Libra is trying to figure, figure out how to handle, you know, when they say handle with care, you know what I'm saying? The Libra might be trying to figure out how to handle you or the Libra is trying to figure out how to make, uh, you know, something that they did, how to fix it, okay? If we're dealing with a Scorpio, Six of Cups, the Magician, the Sun card, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I do feel like there is an ex here or someone from your past that is watching your glow up. OK, um, you may be on a very public platform here or there's people that are gossiping about you or they see you walking around in the streets. I don't know, but you're mad. You're in master manifester mode here. You're glowing. You're this is fortune. This is fame. This is joy. This is happiness. This is inner peace. And this is an ex or a family member or someone from your past that is watching this, uh, you know, go go down. OK. If we're dealing with a Sag, Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, there is a Sagittarius here that you are not speaking to, that you do not want to speak to. This person's going through a difficult time, and I think that they're coming rushing in towards you because with the Ten of Pentacles, they need something. So beware of that. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Hanged Man, the Five of Wands, the Justice card, and the Nine of Wands. Cancer, if you you are dealing with a Capricorn, you are about to find out that you have been right all along. This person has been entertaining other options. There's going to be a fight and then you're going to block this person and not want to deal with them anymore. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the five of pentacles, the three of wands, the four of pentacles, and the three of cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius here and you are hoping that this Aquarius is going to come back around and reconcile with you because they don't want to let you go, that is not going to happen. Five of pentacles, I feel like this person for now, at least they're gone. Okay. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So Cancer, things are going to be quiet between you and the Pisces for some time. And then you're going to be getting some communication coming in from them that they want to work things out. But I think that by the time this Pisces comes back around with the Four of Swords and the King of Swords, you're you are going to be in a mood. You you might have healed from this. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You've you know taken off the rose colored glasses. So you're going to be in quite the mood when they come back. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you so very much and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.